This lesson is about comparing rates and goes along with 6th grade CPM chapter 7 section 1 lesson 1. First let's define rate. Rate is a ratio comparing two quantities often using time. Sometimes that is miles per gallon, sometimes that is kilometers per hour, um, sometimes it's dollars per hour. Uh, when it's talking about time, it's usually in minutes or hours or days or weeks. Okay, like the example before, you have miles per hour. Okay, so we could write that as miles over hour. So we are looking at it as a ratio or as a fraction like we did before. So let's look at an example problem. Alex saves $45 every three weeks. How long will it take him to save $105? How much money will he save in five weeks? So we have two problems to look at. And here's how I would personally approach it, but there are a lot of different ways that you can look at this problem. So I would say that he has $45 over three weeks. And I think that the easiest way to do that is to figure out what it is in one week. Okay? What we're doing here is we're finding what's called the unit rate where in your denominator it's 1. And I know that to get from 3 to 1, I divide by 3 or multiply it by 1 third. And if I take $45 and divide it by 3, that gives me $15 in one week. What I'm then able to do is take my $105 and divide that by 15. Okay, And I know off the top of my head 15 times 2 is 30 and 30 times 3 is 90. So I can do that 2 times 3, which is 6. So 15 times 6 is my 90, right? And then if I add another 15, that gives me 105. So that means I have 7 weeks here, okay? because I have the 6 from here. And I'm adding another 15 for a total of 7. Okay, so for this first question, how long will it take him to save $105? I have seven weeks, and I can check that again. 15 times seven gives me five, carry the three, so I have $105 in seven weeks. Okay, find the unit rate, and then you can multiply or divide it out from there. Okay, how much money will he save in five weeks? Now. It's because I have the unit right here already, I can just say if it's $15 in one week, and I want to know five weeks, I can do 15 times five, okay, multiply it out, and then in five weeks, he gets $75, okay, and you notice I'm color coding it here, okay. Um, once you find your unit rate, everything else should be a lot easier to go through, okay. Let's try one problem on your own. Bailey wants to buy a car. One car gets 32 miles per gallon, talking about gasoline. The other car gets 108 miles for every four gallons. Which car is more fuel efficient? Work through it on your own, and then I'll show you how I did it. OK, the way I looked at this is we had the first car, which gets 32 miles per gallon. This is already in the unit rate where your denominator is 1. So I'm just going to leave that exactly as it is. And I'm going to convert car 2 into the unit rate. And I can do that saying that I want 1 gallon as my denominator. And to get from 4 to 1, I need to divide by 4. Okay, and using that giant one again. So 108 divided by 4 gives me 27 miles to the gallon. So then I know car 1 is more fuel efficient. Another way that you could have done this is say, you could have said that I know that this is four gallons here, so I can come in and I could actually multiply car one by four over four using that giant one, which gives me 128 miles over four gallons. And that's a good way to check your work to make sure that you did everything correctly. So unit rates are diagonal, and the regular rate is also diagonal.